We are here in the heart of Bohemian Fernwood, visiting the studio of painter Luis Enrique Oliver, aka Leo. Uh, he's going to talk about his new series of floral paintings. Let's see what he has to say about them. This painting is called um, Poppy for Matty Clarawine. Matty Clarawine uh, was uh, a painter um, who painted the most beautiful uh, visionary and surrealist art. And uh, there's a huge place in my heart for him. Um, He's just really inspired me to paint, and both in the way he lived his life, but also the, the art that he made. And um, he did a lot of album covers. Um, one of them was, um, like for example, the, the Santana uh, Abraxas album cover. But he did one for Miles Davis called um, Bitches Brew. And Bitches Brew is this big painting. Um, with with a lot of stuff going on, but in the in the bottom in the center there is a poppy. There is a, a beautiful um, Oriental poppy, which is just so lush and so perfectly painted. It's just it's just this amazing amazing poppy, and this one is very um, is based on that one. I wanted to uh, do a tribute to to Maddie Clarawine and say, hey, I, I see this little detail of this painting of yours, and I love it. Um, it's, it, it looks different, of course, but there's the same kind of energy in it for me. Um, the, the painting has this, I, I painted, I think this is my seventh red poppy. And this one is quite different in that it doesn't have that kind of uh, enveloping, mysterious, uh, closed petals. This one is fully open. And it has an energy of surrender, just fully letting go. And at the same time, this real presence and power that comes from that. Right? So it's completely open, and the folds are moving. And it, it's, it's to me, it's just beautiful. There's this, um, one of the things that, that really uh, strikes me about flowers like this is that they're they're like the, the original mandala. The, um, they're like circular... Um, power centers, you know, a, a circle which basically draws you in, and if you if you fix your gaze on the center, something happens to you, and there's something going on like that here. So the the, the center seed pod has some kind of energy in it. You can just feel it. There's all these like little seeds, and oh, it's just I love it. <laughs> so uh, so this is for Maddie Clarwine. Thank you for everything. Um, yeah. So this is called Dance of Creation. The Spanish uh, name for it is Danza de Creación. And this is really, for me, it's a very powerful piece. I, uh, I remember beginning the sketch for it and then sketching it onto the canvas. And it was really a practice of, as much as I could, letting go and letting the the colors emerge and, and the movement emerge. And I really, there were times when I was really grappling with this one because it's got a lot of power, it's got a lot of energy. And when I paint something like this, I get really swept into it. And um, so I'd be painting this and there were nights where I'd be so into it, I'd be up till late, late at night. And uh, I didn't want to let it go, it didn't want to let me go. Um, and this is really about, it, it's a celebration of, of the life essence in nature and in us. It's just the, the, the beauty that is in all things. It has this, this um, for me, one of the aspects of it is the luminosity in it. It's, it has a lot of light, light coming from above, light coming from inside. And I can sit in and look at this, and I'll just be transfixed. I'll, I'll uh, even though I painted it, it, it's just it has so much detail and so much movement, and you can just watch it and go into a bit of a, a trance state with it. It's hard to know what to say about it in a way because it it uh, like this is, is transcends words. It's about what what you experience when you when you stand in front of it and 
and feel what it's saying. This painting is called El Rastro de la Luz, which means the scent of light. And it's named after a, a poem by Hafiz, uh, who was a mystic Sufi poet. And the, to, just to paraphrase the poem, it talks about how Hafiz is like um, a wild beast who is fixed on the, uh, the scent of light. It's going after the light. And um, I mean, plants do that literally. They, they, uh, they're phototropic, so they, they follow the light. They, they go after it. And it also speaks to a person's uh, inner quest or spiritual quest, like to, to find uh, truth and find light, find the good in the world. Um, even though we get lost and we make mistakes and, we, you know, we get um, really into our heads, right? So there's something to me about the, the upward movement of it and going up and, and seeking the light. Um, I've always liked Keller Lilies, but the inspiration for this particular canvas was um, a couple of blocks from here. Um, there's a house with a huge patch of calla lilies and uh, Chloe and I would go down there, you know, every other night we'd just go for a walk and we'd stop and look at the lilies and, and uh, feel them and I'd, I'd, um, I'd just study them. And it's really cool how, how they're so different depending on which angle you, you look at them um, from. Uh, and there was this woman I remember who would often sit on her front steps on the house next door and she'd look at us like, what are you doing? Or, or maybe she knew, she's like, I know what you're doing. And I, I do drive-bys, I'd, so, uh, I'd go study them and then I'd, I'd sketch them and, and uh, I wanted to do um, this painting. I feel like doing a lot more of these. So I just, I just love the, um, the shape of them and uh, the movement. And the, the leaves are just, they're, they're really trippy, psychedelic. You look at those leaves and after a while you just go into this trance and it's just, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. This is called Sweet Pea Pleasure. And um, I, I painted this wanting a lot of movement and the sense of getting lost in the grass and the, the, the detail of flowers. Um, I find when you a cluster of flowers and you look at it very closely, you can just get lost in it, right? And so there's a lot of movement, a lot of things blending together. And there's a real erotic energy here, right? Because flowers are, they're essentially erotic. They're essentially sexual things. That's what they're for. They're, they're there to be beautiful and entice and seduce and bring you in, pull you in. And that's how, th how plants reproduce, through flowers. Uh, well, floral plants do in a way. So um, I think uh, uh, Georgia O'Keeffe once was, she was being accused of painting vulvas and, and she said, no, that's not what I'm painting at all. I just paint what I see. And I, my sense is what she meant is flowers are essentially erotic. And so if you're painting the essence of a flower, that's the energy that's often gonna come through, that kind of primal energy. Um, This is called uh, Amantes de Oro, so uh, that translates into Golden Lovers. And um, it took me quite a while before I painted roses because I, I also had this idea in my head that, you know, the rose is like the cliche flower, everybody, you know, paints roses. And then I, I started to paint them and I really, really enjoyed it. I have this. Um, beautiful memory of when I was uh, a child in Uruguay and uh, I would go visit my grandfather's house and my grandfather had this incredible huge beautiful rose garden it was just an epic garden maybe in my mind it's it's bigger than it actually was but I remember as a child being completely amazed by it and getting lost in it and um, he had all kinds of roses and on hot summer Uruguayan days when it's like 42 degrees um, the, the aroma, the scent of the roses would just pervade the air and it was thick and beautiful and, and you know nowadays we think of perfume as, as something kind of negative but it was just this beautiful perfume and it, it just smelled like like luscious love like just 
generous love, and it was very healing to walk there. Um, and whenever I smell the rose, I, I remember that. So this is kind of um, just my foray into roses, and, and this canvas in particular is, it kind of depicts two roses which are growing together, and, and there's this beautiful point of contact here where they're touching. And then my sense is they come from the same plant, and they've been growing together in the sun, and it's and they're happy. It's a very beautiful uh, feeling for me. So a moment ago we were at my studio and now we're at uh, Victoria Emerging Art Gallery where we're going to be bringing the paintings tomorrow. Um, I'll just say a little bit about this one. This one is called Ahora es el tiempo, which means uh, now is the time. Uh, the title for that comes from another Hafiz poem, which is very, very beautiful. Um, this is um, the painting I started this series with and it really set the tone for the other paintings to come. It's for me, one of the things that's important about this painting is that, that mandala quality, that circular uh, meditative shape that draws you into the center and there's something emanating from inside. It's very soothing and at the same time very um, um, exciting, opening, uplifting. This is another piece, uh, it's called In the Beginning. It's a white iris. And one of the things I really love about it is how it kind of invites you to, to enter into that luminescence, that light in, inside that kind of inner um, sanctuary, the, the, the sanctum, the, the haven. It's got a lot of movement in it. And the texture is very, there's like a, a softness and a, and a marble-like um, sculptural quality to it as well. Um, so we're going to be hanging the pieces up tomorrow uh, in preparation for the, th uh, the show on Thursday. Um, it runs from July 21st to August 4th, and the opening is on July 21st at 7 o'clock here at uh, Victoria Emerging Arcade.